Hi there, everyone. Um, so I've gotten a lot of requests for um, for uh, to draw Justin Bieber, and so I looked up who it was, and that's who I'm gonna draw today. So um, as usual, we start with the basics. So today we will start with his shoulders, coming up on either side of his neck, like most people's shoulders. You know, kind of get his neck line and, and cleavage in there. One half of his collar, and the other half. And we'll worry about the rest of his shirt later, but you always want to make sure to have that first so there's somewhere for his head to go. And his headline. I don't mean like a newspaper headline, I mean um, the line surrounding his head on his face. Alright, and now for his hair. So as you can see we've drawn the head a little bit small and that's so we'll have space for all of this hair. Um, which looks kind of like, I don't know what you'd call the style, um, a bouffant maybe, uh, a pompadour, an afro, oops that was a mistake. But I, I don't know, anyway, um, he's, he's kind of got this distinctive windswept hairstyle. Um, you know, I, I kind of liked him in High School Musical. Um, I'm kind of a fan of those movies, but not everyone is, and that's okay. Just um, everyone's got different tastes, and you can't really force other people to have the same taste as you. So remember, get both ears in there, and um, you don't have to make them perfect because they're kind of behind his hair, so they could uh, look like anything and you wouldn't even know it. But today we're going to try a new drawing style, and that's where you zoom in. So. I want everyone to hold control on their keyboards, and if you have a wheel in your mouse, uh, scroll that up. If you don't, you're out of luck. And um, so now you can see we've got kind of a big picture here, and uh, that'll make it easier to do fine details like his nose. So, yeah, both sides of his nose, and get the general shape here. It's kind of pointy, mushroom-looking nose. That there, and give him eyes. Look kind of like pimento olives. I don't know if you like those, but that's what eyes always look like to me. Get both eyes, and um, those are some sparkly eyes. You know, I think we should reflect that in our picture. So, get both sides. Um, fill in the pupil on each side. You know, get get his uh, iris and sclera in there, and um, I think we should color it brown because they seem like brown eyes. So, um, and don't forget the sparkles. So we're going to do our swap color button. Go back to the paintbrush and add some random sparkles to each of his eyes. So, you know, you can make them big if you want. Just you know, kind of the camera glinting off the eyes for a bit of realism here. And now for his, um, again, I don't know what you call this thing, kind of a jowly area, uh, laugh lines, I don't know, he looks like he's laughing, maybe he's just, uh, some people look, just look like that, you know. So get side one, and side two, and get this mouth area here. Now this, I mean this guy, I don't know, maybe he's just really happy, maybe he's just, you know, kind of like, okay, you know, stop taking pictures of me, I, I get it. That's what I would be like if I was in his position. But um, I think we can probably make our picture a little bit happier than it probably is in real life. Because you can't always, um, necessarily make the world how you want it to be, but you can make pictures of the world how you want them to be. So let's zoom in on his mouth here and count how many teeth he has. I'm counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 on the top row. So in our picture we will do 10 on the top row. Starting right here with these um, 
buck teeth. I, what do you call those? I know there's like some sort of medical dentistry name for him, but all right, that one's kind of lopsided. Um, but I, I don't really follow these things, so it, it, they could be called anything for all I know. And um, I don't think it's really important for the picture unless we're going to label it. And in, in future pictures, we will label what the body parts are called, but right now, we're just going to stick with... Um, I can't get these teeth right. Maybe if I just make them a little smaller. Uh, but in future drawings, we're going to label what the body parts are called, so maybe they'll use them, use our drawings in classrooms, or um, maybe you can get a job that way, actually. Just make drawings and then sell them to classrooms so students can find out what body parts are called. Um, that's Maybe I'll actually do that. I mean, like, I probably won't stop making these videos, but I'll just make less of them. If I can get that as my job, we'll see. And the bottom teeth are a little bit indistinct, but it looks like there's four there, so we'll draw four teeth on the bottom. Oh, I guess I kind of did that off-center. We'll make it five. And... Uh, kind of got a tongue in here. Okay. And, um... So we can zoom back out of this picture. Yeah, I mean, I don't really see the appeal myself, you know, I don't really have Bieber fever, or whatever they call it, but, um, you know, each his own. Alright, got these chin wrinkles in here. A couple of moles. Yeah, one on his eye. And his, um, eyebrows, you know. Alright, uh. They look kind of like shaggy caterpillars, I guess, so draw them like you would draw a shaggy caterpillar or a seismograph or any sort of such thing. Um, just with the paintbrush tool as usual. Um, <coughs> that isn't actually the first, that's not the final eyebrow, we gotta do the second layer. Keep going. Alright, now for the other side. But um, anyway, one thing I do like about Justin Bieber is that he kind of got, I heard he got famous just by making YouTube videos, and um, I mean, like, I try not to be too optimistic in life, but I just think that maybe, maybe the same thing could happen to me, because I've been making videos for a while now, and nothing's happened yet, so I'm just kind of hoping that if I make enough, then I might, um, I might also become a singer. both eyebrows and so let's zoom out alright so that looks pretty good uh, to color it we get our paint bucket tool you know choose kind of a Canadian flesh color fill in the head uh, well, I don't think we need the next quite yet head um, his hair I you know it's kinda hard to choose a good hair color with this program I guess it's way over on the fringe of orange here I'll just make it the same color as his eyes, I guess. This uh, brownish. You know, gotta fill in his little thing here. Painting is a lot harder than it looks. Like, a lot of people just think it's easy because so many famous people do it, but... Um, I mean, as I'm sure you know, as you're following along with your own pictures, it's not as simple as it might seem. So get out your um, dropper tool. I wonder if artists ever, like, actually use a little eyedropper thing and, like, pick up paint off of their paintings to see what color it is. I mean, seems like a lot of work to go to. And make it a little bit darker for his neck here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he'll just... I don't really want to draw his neck. I'll just assume he's wearing an ascot and fill that in. Yeah, perfect. Um, fill in his tongue there. The inside of his mouth is probably some kind of darkish red. Like that. No. Yeah. And uh, his lips, kind of the same. Kind of the same sort of thing. Just be careful around the gum area there. 
Uh, this is precise work. Ah, good enough. Um, and he's wearing this bluish shirt, you know, kind of indigo. So, uh oh. I mean, you know, he he probably like stands in front of a lot of auditoriums that are blue. And he's wearing that white shirt. And um, we're pretty much done here. I, I'm a little unsure about leaving these buttons undone, so I'll just like add some buttons in, you know. Um, sure, you know, whatever. And um, that's Justin Bieber. So, <clears throat> if you like this video, make sure to send some of your friends, um, help get the word out about Justin Bieber, you know. Uh, help, maybe help me a little bit on my own uh, journey to fame. Uh, and on the gums there, and we're pretty much done. Go to 100%. Or, I mean, even just send this picture to your friends and, you know, label it, uh, let's draw some stuff, okay? And, or even if you don't label it, I, I won't really mind, but just the important, the important thing is to just get the word out. So just send this picture, they'll probably know where to find it. Um, and, uh, everyone have a great Martin Luther King Day next week.